Hello and welcome everyone to the lab view exercises. Today we have a small exercise regarding string functions. So as you can see, I have here a string uh, control where I am going to enter any uh, words and then it will uh, extract or it will search through this passage and the findings will be shown over here and total number of matches will be also shown. So let's just try and run this program. So here, let's just say I am writing out something and it is giving me exactly the words as well as the number of matches. Similarly, maybe I can also try out this one. As you can see here, we have just only one word regarding this OC, which is a code which is appearing into this, uh, in, into this word basically. So let's just try something else, simple. And yeah, that's how it is working right now. So I'll just stop my program right now. And to for, to make this program, I'll just go again into my front panel, <clears throat> into the new VI, and I will go back to its block diagram. And here we will using many string functions. So for the string, we first of all we have to place a string control as our search function. And then there should be and then there should be one other string which will be acting as the string as a text which will from which it will be going to be extracted or within that field the text will be uh, searched out so I will use again the same text as I have used here so let's just say I'll just copy out all these text So let's just say this is my text. I will just copy it by pressing Ctrl plus C. I will go back to my control panel over here and I'll paste it. So just as to make sure that this text doesn't go away when you just close your program, you can also do this is by going to data operations and make the current values default so that whenever you will come back to this VI, this program, this, these words or the values within that uh, string control does, does not disappear so now I will go back to my uh, block diagram and to here I can just go to my string and here I will find out uh, spreadsheet to string since we want to extract the each word basically which is why I am using this here so I will use the text to as my format string or the spreadsheet string and then I will as a spreadsheet string and the search function will be remain itself and I will create a constant here So now I'm giving this spreadsheet array as an indicator that the 2D array input is basically or the output will be the string and not the decimal points or the digits. And for the separation purposes, as the delimiter, as you can see, I will, uh, I will give the space constant so that it will separate out all those values. So now the next thing is I will use a for loop by which it will be completely separated into each word will be separated into a single uh, array element. Maybe we can just run this out and let's just check. Instead of just checking this out here, create an indicator. This is an array. And if I run my program, <clears throat> so right now this basically each word within this text is separated by space so all those words are shown over here we can see over here so now we just have to search those things so I can just delete this out again and uh, now I will go 
and find out the match pattern string function. By this function, I can just find out or compare the values from the from our search function. Right? And now we must have to say that if the offset path since whenever it searches out and it matches something the offset will be increased more than one or zero i would say more than zero then only i'll create a case structure to compile up the results so in the case of true i now i will create a, uh, an array i will initiate an array so that all those words which will be searched out will be sorted into an array like this so from here I will connect it over here and then I will connect it with this for loop. I will replace with the shift register and let's just initiate it from completely zero or nothing and I'll connect it over here so that the array will be generated. So I can also give this the empty, the false case will be passed out like this way so that the only uh, those words that are having the offset pass match is greater than zero will be uh, will be stacked into this array so if i will just create an indicator over here so now i must have to write out something let's just say your or you and now as you can see it is giving me u u u so this much time this u function or u uh, basically text has been appeared within this whole text so let's just make it a little bit much more better to make it more realistic or understandable so for that purpose uh, let's just say that and one more thing uh, this for loop is uh, running right now one less time so we must have to say that the array size over here plus one will be the actual running for this so that all of the elements will be extracted by this for loop so that this much time this for loop should run right and now we can also check how many number of matches are these by just getting the array size because we are getting the array so this will also tell us how many how many times that word has been matched and similarly we can also control the size or the number of these rows within that column so for that purpose i can just go to create and i can use a property node and i can use number of rows over here and I can just change it to right and I can just connect it over here now once I will write here you this will be changed automatically so for example if I just write only if I run my program so only is appearing two times within this whole text and the array size is also automatically adjusted so I will place it over here now I want to make it to ensure that it is running smoothly and uh, uh, constantly for which I will be using while loop but this while loop will be creating much more bogus because it will it will be running for a long time so we don't need that we just want whenever I am writing something in my search function only then only this loop should be executed for that purpose I'm going to use an event structure so that it will also be memory efficient so I will say that this edit events handled by this case so I'll only so that this event structure only happens when I will uh, do something with the search functionality or with the search string function I'll press OK and now I have to create a control I will create a control over here and uh, I will add an event case and link it with my stop button so that whenever my stop button is pressed then the this loop will be 
or the event structure will be the second event structure will be occurred and this whole program will be stopped so let's just try once again so if i run my program so as you can see i have to click somewhere else to make it happen so let's just try other thing like your i have to click click somewhere else to extract exactly and one more thing that is considered over here is the case sensitivity so for that purpose uh, what i'm going to do is i will completely make it to the lower case so let's just say i am i tried i i didn't want it to be the case sensitive so i will move it over add it at the case from even if it is small or bigger in the capitalized or not capitalized it will all turn to the small letters so now if i run my program if i go over here and if i just write your and now it is appearing over here since last time it was not appearing because y is capital letter so now all of this text is considered into the small letters one more thing that we can add over here is we can go to this uh, this string function and we can make it as update value while typing so that whenever i will be writing out something like your or this so this is actually updating meanwhile i'm just typing or doing anything so let's just say right now so this is automatically being updated so i could also increase the font size so it will be more appropriately be available to see so if i run my program once again so as you can see over here it is completely updating and finding out all the texts that is available within in this whole string so that's how it works i hope you will like my video thank you Thank you.